Okay, it's time to play some next car game. They've added a new car and a new track that's work in progress, as well as a little bit of touching up the title here and there. Don't think anything major's happened, but enough to justify loading up what is an awesomely fun game to play. Now, I picked the new car. I think this is the new car. I seem to remember those being the old ones in it. And the new track is... Let's see, here we go, work in progress, sandpit one, made sure all the assists and all the nonsense is off. I've also set up the um, gear stick, but I don't know if there's a clutch, so it's, uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. And some of the settings I don't think work properly yet, but it's a beta, so you've got to take what you get whilst they develop and iron this out into a nice, smooth t-shirt of a game. Now for those of you that don't know, next car game is a destruction derby, racing, all-out crazy car game made by the people that made the original Flat Out series of games and it's incredible it's really good fun they've got the balance between simulation and arcade spot on as in it's packaged in an arcade way but the underlying physics have enough depth to them to keep even those of you that are familiar with sim games like a set of course at iRacing, R Factor 2, GameStarCon, all them interesting so let's jump in and go into first gear put the clutch on we're off the jump and start there. Dust in my face. AI everywhere. It's cold, he seems a bit floppy. <laughs> I can't hear my own gearbox. There are sound options. Gearbox on the engine there. Just sneak up the inside here. <laughs> cannot hear my engine to know when I need to change gear. Oh, what? The AI is lambasting me off the track here. Oh, now I can't see anything. What a cheeky bugger. This track is definitely very much under construction. As you can see, it's still yet to have a lot of the details added. As a car goes flying in the air. <laughs> oh, but these racetracks, the layouts of them seem like... They're really good fun, they're nice and uh, they've got a nice bit of space, but then they've got plenty of objects to hit into and push people into, which is nice in this sort of game. She always wants an excuse to kill people. And I really can't wait to play this. Oh no! <laughs> he absolutely spun by the AI. There's a reset button, there we go. I can't wait to play this online with real people, not just AI. But having said that, I'm actually quite optimistic with the single player for this. Fairly decent. The key thing, as of right now, what has been the early access title and the beta, is that the basic fundamentals of the physics and force feedback seem to work really nicely. Sounds actually really nice as well. The volume's a bit high on some of the things, but you can tweak it all. I think this is meant to be like a. Yeah. Whoa! Totally lost it on the inside of that reset. I think this this track's meant to be some kind of uh, construction. Uh, like an open pit mine. It's hard to tell. But I'm not finishing the texture work on it yet. <laughs> I'm going to just restart the race, I'm going to cheat. The AI are really harsh on this, they'll absolutely just ram me off the road. That is more aggressive again. Up the aggression, it's always a solution. And there's a definite technique to this game in terms of leaning on the other cars in a way that you never would in any other normal driving simulator. I'm really sort of asserting myself. But it's nice to get different types of driving gameplay over the bog standard and try and drive as best as possible on the racetrack. This guy's door! Oh, he's gonna fish tail if I'm not careful. I really want to play this and not just rift, just all the stuff flying around everywhere. <laughs> the guy's guy's absolutely tin can. Looks like a sardine. He seems perfectly happy though, he's just uh, eating a sandwich in his cockpit. 
totally fine that his car is absolutely squashed. Oh my god, I don't know what that was. Let's take a shortcut. Take a shortcut. Well, the AI definitely seemed faster than me. I wonder if there's different difficulty settings. Or maybe I just need to improve my road racing technique. Here. There's so much going on, it's really hard to focus on individual. I think the bugbear is taking up a bit of a fetish for uh, car tyres because he seems to put them everywhere. The different parts of the track seem to have different amounts of grip as well, so when you go on the sand just off the road, you get a little bit more grip in some ways, it's a bit, a bit slows you down a lot. Lighting's really nice as well, actually. The, the sunset. It's getting the evening spirit. It's really nice how the car flows over the track, and that's something you get. More arcade games tend to get wrong in that the car just doesn't stick to the track right. But in this, <laughs> head on. <laughs> They've designed this track with a bit where you turn around and face the dark. Yeah, in this, the physics, the cars are really planted on the road, which is really nice. And really important for this sort of game where the tracks are going to have large bumps. It's really intense, like playing RBR with the other people on the road at the same time. Yeah. Where's the finish line to pass this guy? This guy's going crazy! He's having a panic attack. They really do try and take you out, they're properly aggressive. But crucially, you can actually you can't steer against it, the reactor, just squeeze up here, fish tail. Oh. No, <laughs> he's not budging. Eight. Absolutely fantastic. Well, that car seems all right, and they've, oh, they've added a scoreboard as well. So that's next car game, as it is now. Uh, not a massive update, but it's, it's incremental, and uh, you know the developers rocking out with crazy rock music. Uh, obviously, doing stuff to the game, so it's worth keeping an eye on. And um, I think that's about it, really. Don't know what else can be said. There's, there's nothing else new to it that I can see. Just the car and the track. Still a blast to play. If you haven't got it yet, definitely worth picking up because I can only see it getting better. And uh, with the tracks that are uh, already finished and the cars that have, um, the other cars that are in the game, they're all really good fun to play as it is. So next car game, check it out. Subscribe and like, and I hope you enjoy the video. Goodbye.